When it comes to collecting vintage knives, I'm a big believer in that saying, buy the book before you buy the knife. But you know, that's kind of hard to do sometimes because a lot of these old books on collecting knives are out of print. And if you can find one, uh, the price is usually really high because people know it's out of print and they've jacked the price up. As far as I know, there's only two books, reference books, on official Boy Scout knives. And I've heard there are more, but the most I can ever find out about are these two. The first being 600 Scout Knives by Joseph Richard Kerr. And I've owned this book for a while. You can buy new old stock of this off of eBay still for about $35 a book. And I've done a review on this, and as I recall in the review, I said something like, well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> and the reason I said that is it's really hard to use. Um, first of all, very few pictures. Where you have pictures, they're fuzzy black and white, and they've grouped the knives together in a very confusing fashion. We have to go up here and look at this, you know, key. But most of the book just looks like this. And so you've got, here's one description for a knife, here's another description for a knife, you know, here's, and it's in code, basically. All these abbreviations that I swear I think only the, the author understands. So it's a very difficult book to use, and uh, I found that it is full of omissions and errors. Uh, so, like I said, it's better than nothing, but I've been looking for the other book for some time, and I've just found it. It popped up on eBay. The fellow said his dad was really into uh, collecting scout knives, and he was putting this up for sale, and he offered it up for $29 plus shipping. So I jumped right on it. This is the second official book that I know of, uh, or book on official scout knives, called Official Scout Blades by Ed Holbrook. It not only covers Boy Scout knives, it covers Girl Scout knives, Campfire Girls, Cub Scouts, po pocket sheath knives, folders, chow kits, axes, and it even has a price guide in the back, which really isn't too handy for absolute prices because... First of all, they don't mention what condition they're talking about. And then second of all, the last printing of this, or at least this one, was uh, printed in 2007. This is a self-published book, obviously, you know, in a spiral binder, a spiral um, binder here in, you know, black and white pictures and everything. So self-published, um, out of print, and I think this is the fourth printing, and it was 2007. But this book is everything the other one isn't. Uh, what he does, first of all is it gives a nice little overview. There's the guy right there. Nice little overview of collecting scout knives. And starting here with Boy Scout knives, he starts with the earliest makers. He puts them in chronological order as, as to when they came into the market. And he's got a picture for every model and every variation of each model that they produced. So you can see the exact knife uh, a little description of it, size, maybe some identifying features, some special features, um, the, the model number, the BSA number, and, um, and a date range. So, you know, there it is. If you, you know, maybe one version had a spear point blade, another had a clip point blade, they're both in there. Maybe one had bone, one had pearl, they're both in there. Um, there's just nothing omitted. It makes it so much easier to use. You know, Remington, for instance, was very prolific in making Boy Scout knives. I had a ton of different versions. I didn't realize how many they had, but here's four, there's six, there's six more. So there you go. Uh, what is that? Uh, 16 different knives. And uh, he goes through them all. They're all right there. Then Ulster came on next. It's just Landers, Frary, and Clark. Uh, Cataraugus, Powell Blade Company, uh, Camillus, you know, Camillus uh, Imperial, Imperial made a lot of knives, they're all in there. Uh, Ulster USA out of Ellenville, New York, Schrade Walden. And then he goes on and there's anniversary knives, there are unofficial knives, not very many unofficial knives, um, just a few. Some other things, uh, then again he goes through, oh, stopping short here, he's got Victorinox knives in here. Some winger knives, and then into Cub Scout knives, Girl Scout knives, Campfire Girl knives, and all that. Uh, one really cool thing about the book is that he's put together in the back a collection of all the old ads for these vintage knives. All the ads that appeared in Boy's Life and, and different publications. I've been trying to like download these off the internet, print them out, but here they are all right here in one convenient place. And then um, finally in the back, I just want to show you the price guide. It's kind of rudimentary, but it's by um, type, maker, and he's given each knife a code and then a, a value. 
And it was interesting to me that the most expensive one in here uh, was from Remington, and it was $1,000. Now, again, he doesn't show what condition that is. Now, I'm, imagining, I'm imagining that's like very good condition. I don't think it's mint. It would probably be higher. But I was really curious to what that knife was, the most expensive scout knife. So I came back here to Remington, and it was the, uh, the Remington Award for Heroism knife. Let's see if I can get my light up here where we can see it. But it actually has two shields. It has your regular acorn shield and then underneath that a second shield for uh, the uh, honor medal. Very, very cool. I would never know that if I didn't have this book. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if anybody is really into scout knives and is interested in getting this book, um, has been looking for this book, I think I know where there is one more available uh, for $40 plus shipping. And so if you let me know if you're interested, um, I'll share that with you. All right, well, as always, thanks for watching and have fun collecting.